everyone. So today we are finally, finally <laughs> going through all my makeup. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing everything. Okay, we went through everything and I feel cleansed. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. I feel like this room looks so much better with my organization now. This is gonna be a few separate videos. I don't have the biggest collection, but this whole ordeal, okay, this took so long to do. I thought this was going to be a modest week project. Uh, no. <laughs> this has been going on for months. So yeah, if you see nail changes, outfit changes, the whole shebang, that is why. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be organizing my foundations, concealers, and face powders, as in loose and pressed powders. For all of my videos, you're probably gonna see me looking like this because I'm gonna be doing the same intro for all of them. Just to save myself a little bit of time and, you know, to make it all a collection, I can then make it like a little playlist or something. If you're a fan of all the tapping sounds and stuff, I made this video pretty much especially for all of the tapping sounds and stuff, so it's a little bit of ASMR, but also just satisfying to have an organized collection, so you don't have to be into ASMR to watch this, but if you are, I hope it pleases your senses. Um, <laughs> just makes me feel weird, you know, like, ugh. Anyway, <laughs> if you're into these kind of declutter organizational videos and you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Because undoubtedly, I probably will need one again <laughs> in the near future because I buy way too much makeup. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload. We're getting close to 600 people here, which is insane. If we can get to a thousand by the end of the year, I'm gonna try and do a Christmas giveaway. Obviously that's not guaranteed since we've got like, uh, maybe like three months on the way possibly. I don't even know what month are we in. Yeah, if you want to, then just subscribe. I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've been talking for quite a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's get straight into the organization. I'm so excited. Oh my god. All right. So this straw <laughs> is my concealers and my foundations. This one is one of the main ones that really needs to clutter in. So go on a little glass palette that obviously needs to stay. <laughs> what do I start off with? Foundations or concealers? Hmm. I'm just gonna go into the concealers right here. Okay. <laughs> So I have, let's see, one, two, three of the e.l.f. Camo concealers. I like all of these. I'm gonna keep all of them. I have the shade Tan Walnut, Fair Warm, and Light Sand. I really like Light Sand. It's actually quite a decent shade for when I'm going for more of a natural skin day. I use the Fair Warm when I really want a bright and dry because it's very pale and then I use Tan Walnut to contour. So I'm keeping all these. I have Maybelline Fit Me which is pretty much all done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more of this. Oh, a little bit more has come out but I have a restock of this already by here so I might as well get rid of this one and keep this one. I really love this. So good. I have my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This ain't going nowhere. This is one of my favorites. It's so smoothing and so full coverage. My only qualm with it is the shade. They need lighter shades because this one is a little bit too dark for me and I have to mix it. But the finish is so lovely that I just, I need to keep it. <laughs> Tarte Shape Tape. Um, how much is left of this? Uh, I'm gonna keep that to finish it. It's an okay concealer. I don't think it's worth all the hype and praise it gets. Personally, I prefer the Jouer one over this, but I'm gonna keep it to finish it off. There's not that much left in there, so I'm just gonna keep it. Also, that is the lighter shade, and it's really not that light, as you can tell by my hand there. I have two of the Age Rewinds. These are so hit and miss as far as the packaging is concerned. I find the concealer is nice, but I just couldn't get it to work. Like this one, I would have used it more, but the actual sponge applicator stopped bringing through the product. And also that is looking janky AF. <laughs> I have the shade 03 Fair and 00 Ivory. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but neither of them are fair. They really need to work on their shade range for this. I can get away with 00 Ivory, but I, I, I'm fed up of working, you know? <laughs> Just have my shade, okay? I'm gonna keep um, I'm gonna keep ivory because I do like the concealer. This needs to go, it's too dark for me, so I'm gonna get rid of that one and keep this one. My Jeffree Star concealer, um, I do quite like this, but again, don't feel like it was worth the hype. It's a bit of a weird one. I feel like it's a very movable concealer, but I still wanna play around with it. Again, the packaging is not my favorite. <laughs> 
and it's very sharp. But the shade on this is so light, and this I don't think is even the lightest shade. It's a very good shade for highlighting. The Barry M concealer, I can't remember, I think this is the all night long concealer. This is one of my favourites from the drugstore, it's so good. I hate the applicator though, I have to dip in so many times but it's so full coverage and the finish is really nice as well. And also Mama Mama Mitchell uses this because it's that good. <laughs> the Revolution Pro full coverage camouflage concealer can go, I hated this, it's an oily mess, just no. <laughs> the Revolution Conceal and Define. Um, I want to keep it just because it's so popular. <laughs> is that sad? Like I used it in that video the other day and it actually worked out okay. This is shade C1 which is too dark really for me. They have expanded the shade range though so that's good. I think I have a lighter shade in here somewhere. Oh I have the Conceal and Hydrate. Because I've got the Conceal and Hydrate actually I'm gonna get rid of the Conceal and Define but one of the shade in here that I'm just gonna get rid of. Have I used this? I think I've used it like twice. I'm gonna see if somebody else wants that. And then I've got the Conceal and Correct in the white. This is pretty much my only white concealer so this is staying. The Conceal and Hydrate shade that I've got is 0.7 and it's a lot better compared to the original, although I probably could still go lighter, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think I underestimated with how long this is actually gonna take me. <laughs> you know what, it's fine. It's fine. The Fenty Beauty Concealer, I got it in the shade 105 and it is so yellow. Um, it's good for brightening, but look at it compared to all the rest. <laughs> on my hand. Um, I am going to keep it. It was expensive so I do want to try and use this. It is a very thick formula and does kind of dry down matte but not as matte as other people were saying I feel. I did get along with this quite well. It wasn't too dry and under my under eyes so I'm going to keep this. And then I have all these other concealers hidden over here. These are literally concealers that I put at the back of the drawer because I don't use them. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be getting rid of a lot of these. This is one of the worst concealers I've ever tried. It's the MUA Pro Base Concealer. I just, it, ugh, the consistency is just so gross and it has like zero coverage. You may not be able to see how sheer that is, but oh my God, it's just, it's just not even worth my time. It's just not. <laughs> so this is going. I bought this because I really wanted to do a full face try and pre-mark makeup. But in all honesty, this is the shade Fair, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, sorry, it's in the shade Porcelain. And it just, uh, it's, I don't know, it's not that bad, but I just, I don't know, maybe I'll actually keep that to do a full face. Actually, that is stinging my hand. Um, okay, no, this is going. <laughs> it's actually stinging my hand, what the heck? I'm just gonna wipe my hand real quick. <laughs> okay, I'm not red, it's fine, but that kind of frightened me a bit. <laughs> Especially considering that's supposed to go under your eyes. Um, I have had it for a while, so that might be a contributive factor, but no. If it's staying in my hand, it's not going anywhere near my face. <laughs> I used to really love this. This is the Bourjois CC Eye Cream. It's one of these kind of light concealers, but it actually had a decent amount of coverage. But as you can see, <laughs> the color is just not going to work for me. So I am actually going to get rid of that, even though it's a pretty nice consistency. I just wish they had better shades. The Revolution Face Base Concealer. Um, I don't like the shade of this. This is very pink for me. And also the coverage on this was not my favorite. So this is going. Is this another concealer correct? Oh, I think one's dried up and the other one's full. Yeah, this one's dried up. <laughs> it's gotta go. I have, ooh, a last imperfection. I have not seen this in a while. <laughs> Um, this is in the shade One Fair. I'm pretty sure I had a lighter shade of this somewhere. This used to be my holy grail and it still is for a lot of people in the UK. Um, I need to use this more. Where's my other shade? I don't know. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm keeping this. I don't know why I put it in the back of the drawer. I used to really like this. The heck. <laughs> I've got a few of the LA Girl Pro Conceals. I've got the shade Cool Tan. I don't know in what world that is cool. But okay, cool tan. Got the shade Porcelain, which doesn't even look... Okay, I guess it does look lighter, but that is not porcelain, so that is not porcelain. <laughs> and then I've got the highlight shade, which is a shimmery one, which I thought was just white. In fact, it's not, but I may keep it because this may be good to mix in with the concealer if you're doing like a natural day. Um, I'm gonna throw the porcelain one because I think I pretty much used all of it. Yeah, there's just air coming out of that. That can go. With the highlights, there's quite a bit in here. 
and yeah it's just like a white highlight shade i'm gonna keep this and then i've got this shade which is cool tan which <laughs> i don't understand how that would ever be a cool tan that's like pretty much too orange for me to even use as a bronzer product like a cream bronzer or something so this can go to somebody else i've got this cyo contour stick um which has a concealer so that's why it's in here um i really like this i really like the tone of the contour stick it's really cool but not too cool i quite like this so i'm gonna keep it i can't really use the concealer side because it's uh way too orange but i like the contour so that's why i keep it also it's quite nice and creamy so it's a nice consistency as well <sighs> Okay, is that it for the concealers? I may find a few more in here somewhere, but that is it for now. <laughs> Let's dive in to foundations. Oh my gosh. I do think this is gonna be my hardest section to declutter because foundation is one of my favorite things to try. This is usually where my favorites go, um, but to be honest, I have not organized this drawer in a while because I've been waiting to do this video so <laughs> it's probably a mixture by now so let's just get straight on in okay so L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation this ain't going nowhere one of my favorites the conceal and define uh, I have multiple shades of this <laughs> my favorite at the moment smoothing full coverage looks amazing has so many shades so affordable can't go wrong with this one uh, keeping if you couldn't get that already <laughs> I also have the hydrate version, which I really like, which this is in the lighter shade to the other matte ones. Uh, keeping CYO Life Proof. I do really like this, and this seems to work on multiple different skin types. Like I have oily, and the Taylor on YouTube uses it, and she has dry. So I feel like this is a really good one for a lot of people. Um, this is in the lighter shade, shade 101. It's a very neutral, like almost gray base i do like it i do feel like maybe i should mix it with something for the color but i really like the finish on this one so this one's keeping i really like the urban cover by maybelline and it's got good spf and it's affordable full coverage real lightweight staying milani conceal and perfect i really did not like this one when i did a review on this um, a lot of people like it though, but I just feel like it's so sticky and it's such a weird consistency to blend. I, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like I want to get rid of it, but I also want to try it again. You know what? I'm going to start a pile of try and hopefully I can get through them and try them again. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this in to try pile and give it another chance because everybody loves it, so I must be doing something wrong, right? <laughs> Another L'Oreal Fresh Wear in a different shade for when I picked on. I really liked this when I tried it. It's the Max Factor Radiant Lift Foundation, and it has, like, shimmer in it, and it's really long-wearing, actually. I really enjoyed this when I did a review, so I'm actually going to keep this one. I want to try mixing it, though, because the shade does not work for me. One of you guys said there was a lighter shade, but I have yet to find it, but I really like this one actually staying wet and wild foundation in porcelain uh, again a really good cheap foundation keeping face base by makeup revolution this one is staying my hourglass stick foundation is staying one of my favorites i use this to mix a lot with foundations because of the shade it's just like so pale <laughs> it's it's one of my palest foundations that works really well and also it was hella expensive so it is staying <laughs> Fenty Beauty. Um, this is one of the foundations that I like to keep for shade reference in all honesty. I do try it every now and again and I try like mixing it with other things. It was way too matte on my skin when I tried it and I have oily skin and I found it problematic. But this is one of the foundations that I kind of wanted to use with the e.l.f. Pussy Primer to see if that would help it. So I'm going to keep this one. The Ordinary Serum Foundation. I really like this one. It's really lightweight and very natural. Evens up the skin but you can still see it underneath. This is one of my favorites. So this is staying. I'm so sorry guys. These drawers friggin disgusting <laughs> uh, why am i a gross human being the benefit hell happy sample thing that i got uh this can go this was crap I had no coverage really didn't last that well i hated it okay this is just going <laughs> move these forward
the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. Wow, this is a throwback for me. <laughs> this used to be like my holy grail when I was younger and I used to love this stuff so much, especially when I had really super oily skin, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you the Oompa Loompa status that this had. <laughs> this would oxidize ridiculous and it's already way too dark for me and um, yeah, I'm not about that life anymore. So this can go, it's pretty much out anyway. Um, I do actually have another one. Why do I have another one? Oh, this one was darker for when I had fake tan. These are well old, so they, they probably need to be thrown. Uh, they gonna go. Uh, who remembers this fiasco? This is one of my first ever videos, I think. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and it was the worst thing I think I've ever put on my skin as far as mattifying was concerned. The shade was okay, a little bit dark when it oxidized, I think, but it did not stay matte. Oh my gosh, did I look a hot mess after this one. This can go to somebody else because I've literally only used it maybe twice since, so it's pretty full. Somebody else might like it. Uh, I've actually got a strobe cream in here by Makeup Revolution. Let me see what this is like. I don't think I've ever used this. <laughs> oh, that is um quite thick, actually. Uh, no, that's gonna go have my NARS Sheer Glow, which literally is empty. I don't know why I'm keeping this. I, I'm i not gonna be able to show you, but it's literally scraped in the bottom. <laughs> like, I keep it just for shade reference. Um, this needs to go. I'm not gonna get any more out of it. I certainly can't wear it again. I really like this foundation. I just, I'm just too cheap to purchase it again. <laughs> and I really wanna try the Radiant version. Um, so yeah, this has got to go. It's just an empty bottle, for God's sake, cluttering my space. I have the MAC Studio Fix, which the bottle is gross, so ignore that. <laughs> this is in the shade NW10, and this is too warm, and this was their lighter shade at one point. Like, how is that a light shade? Like, I don't get it. Like, it oxidizes and goes orange. I bought it because everybody said it was good, um, but yeah, they just don't have the shade. I'm pretty sure they might have lighter shades than this now so I might explore but I keep this for shade reference so I'm gonna keep it again <laughs> because a lot of people use this one so this one is a good reference for other people. Infallible Pro Glow, I actually really liked this foundation even though it was very dewy but it just makes your skin look so fresh. This one is being kept. The shade range again it's too dark for me. Like, how am I supposed to work with that? Like, ridiculous. I keep it for when I'm tan and I mix things in with it. So I've mixed this in with a Fenty before. It didn't turn out that great, but I really want to try mixing it with other things because it just leaves such a healthy glow to your skin. So I have a powder in here. L'Oreal True Match, which ironically just does not match. <laughs> um, this can go to somebody else because it's way way too dark for me. We'll get to powders later on, but I'm just gonna throw this out right now. <laughs> oh, there's my other MAC base sample. I'm gonna put this with the primers. My camera just cut off and I was just raging about how much I hate this foundation. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Superstay. Um, it's just, it's just got awful on my skin. Loads of people love this though, so I'm keeping it just for shade reference for people because it was just a bulumper on me, it made me look ridiculous. I wore this foundation out with my partner and even he commented on the shade. Okay, I brought this all the way down my neck and even he commented that it looked orange. Okay, and when they comment, you know something's wrong. <laughs> I am just keeping it for shade reference, but I don't like it and I don't use it. Maybe I should not keep it, but I am. <laughs> this pretty little thing, foundation thing that I got, um, I like the finish of it and I like the texture of it, but I just don't use it and actually looking at that right now I don't know if that's because it's residue, but that is quite chunky <laughs> when I first tried it It just left a really nice glow to the skin. It's kind of like a skin gloss in a way at the finish It almost reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury highlight Cream thing that I've got like the way it makes the skin look I'm gonna keep this and I'm actually gonna compare the two of those. I just want to compare this to the Pretty Little Thing foundation a second. Okay, so I just cleaned off my hand by here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, and then this is the Pretty Little Thing foundation thing. Hmm. 
They're not exactly the same. The Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit lighter and has like a slight more pearlescent finish, whereas the pretty little thing is just like a wet look, but I'd say they're pretty comparable. That's really interesting. I didn't think I would, but I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I have the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation. I didn't like this. Um, the texture of this was so weird, I'm pretty sure, and the shade really is quite dark. Um, and this was again the lighter shade. Yeah, this is the one that felt like paint going on my skin, like super thick. Um, no, that one's going. Oh, the last imperfection foundation. I didn't like this and it was dark. <laughs> and this is the shade One Cool Ivory, which is one of the new shades that they brought out. I don't know why I'm swatching foundation, but you know, we're here. As you can see, that's too orange for me. That's going. <laughs> I actually really like this. This is a Smashbox Camaretti BB water. The only thing is the pipette thing that it came with was broken, so it really just didn't work but the actual product inside was really nice and it was good for like an everyday kind of thing it had a decent amount of coverage for the kind of product it was so i actually think i'm going to keep this and use it up because there's not a lot left in there this is the maybelline dream satin liquid foundation i think i filmed a review on this but never posted it i can't even remember if i've reviewed any of these i'll leave the links in the down bar for you guys but i really like this actually it was kind of light to medium coverage but i really like the feel of it on my skin and the finish the shade on my hand doesn't look that good but actually on my face this was okay it was a touch dark but I could work with it I want to use this one a little bit more so I'm gonna keep this this MUA Pro base honestly can go I don't even want to say <laughs> anything I really hated this again it smells like paint and it had like zero coverage but the thickness of a meringue it's just ridiculous <laughs> and the coverage just doesn't stick i don't know if you can see it's just so patchy oh my gosh it's one of the worst things i ever put on my face so this is going i no i'm not even gonna see if a friend wants that because that's just straight straight up bad no it's going this is actually an eye base which i'm pretty sure is oh actually it's unopened okay uh i need to put that somewhere else <laughs> The NYX Drop Foundation. I tried this on the other day and it was actually pretty nice. Um, I have not used it for a while, but I am gonna keep it because it's a pretty good lightweight full coverage foundation. So I'm keeping the NYX one. Uh, the L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. Um, no, this was a greasy mess on my skin. Somebody else might like it though. So this is in the other people pile. I literally sound like I'm giving it to aliens when I'm saying the other people pile. It sounds like, what is it, the purple people eater? One-eyed, one-horned purple people eater? I don't, I don't know. Um, this is going, this is not for my skin type, but somebody else might like it. These are two samples. This is actually the Fenty Beauty original foundation. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Like, I've got the full version, I don't need this one. <laughs> and then this is a sample of the brand new Fenty one, the hydrating one. Um, I still have a bit left in here. I am continuing to try it, although I don't really have a lot left in here. As you can see, I've tried it quite a bit. I think I could get another day's wear of this, so I am gonna keep it just to finish it off and it's not gonna take up a lot of room. So this one's staying. And that is it for this drawer. So I am going to clean it out and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so the top two rows are the foundations that I'm keeping. The bottom row here are all the ones that I'm either passing on to friends or getting rid of. So now it's time to sort these lot into the acrylic storage. So I've got these drawers that I want to use to try and put them in. I'll probably have to lie them down, but that's fine. I may actually have to buy another set because I don't know if these are all going to fit in there, but we shall try.
So I've organized it into my most used products. So these are my go-to foundations. And then in here, I've put different shade variations of those product which I can't use on the daily and which I would use if I have like fake tan on and then products that I'm less likely to use or that are just there for shade comparison so there's my foundations all nice and sorted and I do have room to add more in here I may just add the Zoeva foundation here that I want to try so bear with I've got a few foundations here that I still need to try and I kind of want to put them in here if I can there we go, they fit perfectly. Okay, so that's that done. Now to move on to concealer. Okay, so these are all the concealers that I am keeping and these are the ones that I'm either giving to friends or throwing away. I have also included like cream contour just cause I'm gonna be putting them all together in one section. So let's just remove these and put these away. I'm probably gonna combine these with like face powders. So I've got this little doodah that has like compartments in it, so thinking about putting my concealers by here and then my cream contours in here so let's do this Okay, so I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to do with the concealers. Um, they all fit in there though, which is great. Now I'm gonna get my face powders, my loose and my compact, and we'll see if we can add it to this tray. So these are my face powders. Let's start off with these. Oh my god, it's like Jenga in this drawer. I cannot wait to declutter a lot of stuff. <laughs> Before we get into it, I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay. I think that's a little bit better for you guys. But this is my first powder container. This is kind of like my loose powders. I have the Too Faced Born this way. I don't know why, it's too dark. It doesn't work for me. I need to get rid of it. That can go to somebody else. I have the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Again, this is too dark and this is in the shade Translucent. It just oxidizes. The actual shade doesn't look dark, but it goes orangey on my skin. I kind of want to test this again though, because I felt that way about the Fenty one, and I managed to make it work, so I might actually keep this one and try it again. And because of that, I've just decided I'm going to keep the Too Faced one again. <laughs> I just want to give it another try now that I've kind of figured out the way to use the M powder properly and not make my face look orange, so I'm going to actually keep these. My Fenty Beauty and my Jeffree Star are not going anywhere. These are probably my most used loose powders. They're so good. Oh, my NARS one. This is a throwback. I bought this because Nikki Tutorial said it was good and to be fair, it was very brightening even though I am very fair. I think I am gonna keep it because it is a good powder. It's not as finely milled as my other ones but it's a really good brightening powder. I'm gonna revive this and see if I can use it again because I have not used it in years. So I'm gonna keep this. And then I have my collection press powder which is no longer pressed as you can kind of see. Um, I am just keeping this because I love this powder. I do have a fresh one because this is so cheap so I bought another one, but I I don't want to part with it. I want to keep using it, so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm so great at decluttering. I'm not a hoarder at all. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Stop judging me. I literally just kept everything that was in that container. I might as well not have gone through it. <laughs> These are more pressed powders apart from these two. So this is the Revolution Lace Powder. I've never really used this. I think maybe I did in one video, but it's too dark and I hate, hate the packaging alone. So I may ask if somebody else wants this, but uh, it's not for me. I bought the Laurier Mercier Secret Setting Powder because Nicole Guerrero said it was really good. It's super duper fine and so messy to work with. I want to try it again though because again I've learned a lot with using powder and this was quite expensive so I'ma keep it. <laughs> I should have decluttered this. The funny thing is is I kind of did a products that I regret buying video or products that don't work for me video. I can't exactly remember what it was and 
products that are in here <laughs> I said I was getting rid of but I just haven't so this is one of them I think it just isn't it isn't working for my skin tone it's in the shade fair and it really is not fair so this can go my hourglass powder which is so battered and bruised but I love it and I've pretty much hit pan on this so this is staying until I've finished it all and then I will refuse to buy another one because it's way too expensive so um <laughs> if anyone wants to buy me a gift please anything hourglass pretty much the powders beautiful um, now I'm just pretty much begging you to buy me more makeup. That does not need to happen. <laughs> we are decluttering the stuff. Okay, anyway, I'm keeping that one. This wet and wild bronzer. I mean, <laughs> when I ordered this online, I thought it may be like a very natural looking bronzer and maybe the photos may be deceiving. Uh, no, it's very soft though and I do like the way it feels. So I actually I do want to keep this I think I want to try it as like an overall like face powder I'm gonna keep this one the skin finish in luminescence by revolution pro I'm gonna keep this I really like the glow it gives I think they have one that's more suited to my skin because this is very pink toned which is called like opalescence or something but I am gonna keep this one because it does give a very nice lit from within glow and it's affordable as well so this in stain my charlotte tilbury flawless finish airbrush thing this is so expensive like ridiculously grossly expensive it feels nice and soft and the shade is okay it's not brightening for me so it's just kind of like an everyday thing it doesn't do enough for my skin to warrant the price so I am gonna continue using it it is quite nice it doesn't make my skin look completely flawless but it does help it out a little I guess <laughs> I like to throw this in my purse and pretend I'm bougie so I'm keeping it <laughs> MUA pro base full coverage matte pressed powder um, no it's very yellow and a weird consistency this one can go all of the MUA base products I uh, don't really rate they don't work for me but it feels so mean right now I'm so sorry <laughs> I like MUA other products but I just don't like their base products okay I have the Kiko radiant fusion powder I quite like this one it's a baked powder it is slightly too dark for me but it's kind of sheer so I can kind of get away with it um, but yeah very nice very nice light feeling powder and it's creamy as well so it really glides over the skin nicely quite nice okay, one so these are my powders these two I'm getting rid of so we can take these out of the picture and now we can put all these in to here obviously these compartments are different sizes so I may have to play around a little bit to get them to where I like but let's get started So that's worked out pretty nicely. Obviously I have space for other things in here, but I'm pretty happy with the way that it's all fitting in at the moment. Now it's time to move on to something else. What, I don't quite know. <laughs> all right, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this series. I honestly love watching makeup to clutter videos and organization videos, so I hope this video is the same for you guys. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a thumbs up. <laughs> If you want to see future declutters then don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below and the bell button to get notified of my future uploads. If you're watching this in the future and they're already all uploaded, I hopefully have made a playlist and I'll link it in the eye for you over there. Or I'll link it down below for you guys. Here's to staying organised forever. Yeah. <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> but yeah, that is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys.